In this episode, I'm going to explain the mechanism behind how gravity works. Not that it works, not demonstrating its effects on stuff, I am actually going to show you the mechanism behind why two objects are attracted toward each other. I call it the Prisoner Gravitational Hypothesis, named after my mother, of course. I hope I haven't set you up for a big disappointment, though. But here's my disclaimer. I am personally over 99% certain that I am right. However, I also recognize that the probability that I am right is less than 1%. So if you add those two numbers together, you get 100% reason to celebrate and make a YouTube video. So here's my pledge to you. If, when, it is shown that the PGH is mostly hot air and has very little substance, I will take full responsibility and make a video explaining what is so. To understand what causes gravity, I need to explain three natural phenomena. The first is the warping of space and with that time dilation, which together I simply refer to as space density, which in previous episodes I have talked quite a bit about. In denser space, all processes are slower. The second is the general behavior of quanta, that's very tiny things. Specifically, they act like waves and particles. Quanta can exhibit both wave and particle behavior. The third one is the properties of refraction. Simply put, it is like waves or particles diving into denser space. You may have experienced this yourself while driving down the road and you drove onto the shoulder. Because the gravel is not as smooth as the road, that side of the car moves more slowly and practically sucks the car off the road. Taking these ideas, let's apply them to a quantum orbit or oscillation. As the particle or wave head progress through each region of density change, the angle of refraction changes also. Combining the normal orbit with the forces of refraction, we get a new egg-shaped orbit. This model shows how that in the orbit in which the forces of refraction are at play, the entire system will shift toward the denser space. The orientation of the orbit in relation to the denser space is actually inconsequential. Here is where relativity helps explain the acceleration. Regardless of the initial velocity, every oscillation pulls or pushes the entire system into the denser space even more. A stationary observer would view them as accelerating. Of course, each atom would not feel that it was accelerating, it would just be going with the flow. So in short, every fluctuation of every quanta, every instant, and every movement moves toward denser space. This movement is what we call gravity. YouTube commentator Kevin Patterson asked how two resting bodies would move toward each other. Here we have two atoms that are at absolute zero, so there is no thermal energy to make them bounce off each other. Each atom distorts space around it. As the quantum vibrations, oscillations, and fluctuations interact with the space around them, they encounter slight differences. Since the space between them is denser than anywhere else, the sum of the refraction occurring brings them together. Together they double the density of space, which is exactly what is observed. When mass is doubled, gravity doubles. If this episode made you happy, sad, angry, or confused, leave a comment. If I have earned it, please subscribe to my channel, and if you think I deserve it, please also click the little bell next to the subscription button to be notified when the next video is released. Once I have 100 subscribers, I can request a much better YouTube address. Do you have any thoughts as to how the Prisoner Gravitational Hypothesis could be tested? Comment on this video and I will try to incorporate your thoughts in a future video. To support this channel, you can become a patron by signing up on my Patreon page. The link is in the description and on my channel homepage.